the state of riders, happy weekend. Um, Sunday, um, I'm uh, housebound. It's wet, windy, and wild outside. My little boy's not well. So uh, not much uh, exciting stuff going on in, uh, in the household. So downtime is going to be used for, um, I suppose, a little bit of an informative um, and a, a how-to. So look, one of the big objectives of a state of ride is not only to produce a really cool program that uh, you can enjoy remotely, um, but is to start to share some of the secrets about how um, I've come about to um, producing such a product. So, you know, program design, um, uh, multimedia technology, how to use the tech. Um, and I suppose the one that's come up really often in the last couple of weeks since uh, we pushed play on the weekly broadcast is how, um, how do you find the music? So I've been doing this a really long time, um, close to two decades. Um, I'm a huge music fan. Um, truth be told, I got involved with indoor cycling on the back end of um, too many wild weekends uh, in clubs and parties and found that uh, a spin class was uh, the way I could merge the two. I could still be healthy, but I could get that fix of, of music and adrenaline and all that sort of stuff. So look, um, back when I started, uh, iTunes wasn't a thing. Um, it was actually Napster, LimeWire. Um, I can't think of the other peer-to-peer -peer stuff, not that it was ever done, of course. But um, you know, low quality MP3s, um, we're still attending record stores, Central Station Records in Sydney. HMV, um, you're thumbing through CDs and DJ Master CDs that had full version um, uh, extended play tracks that were sort of outside the norm of what was played on the radio. So it was a very manual process back in the day. Um, uh, fast forward to 2020 and you've got uh, Spotify worldwide, you've got uh, Pandora in some countries, I think it's still active anyway. And the AI in things like Spotify is amazing. Um, if you have a bunch of tracks in a playlist, um, the, the, the AI feature in Spotify, and I suppose the community feature benefit of, of that is it'll, uh, it'll take what is related and suggest it for you. So it'll say, you know, you like, you like Kylie Minogue, you might like Tina Arena. Look, just two Aussie artists that I can think of. So it'll start to group things together. So if you are a little bit um, less experienced in, in music knowledge, I guess, um, or you're not necessarily as diverse in your music style, um, that can make your job really easy just to simply data sort. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of this and I'm going to share with you my um, a few secrets, I guess. So I'm going to share with you uh, how I data sort and how I sort my Spotify so that I can get suggestions to make my life a little bit easier. So let's go have a look. All right, so let's get into this. The music app, the first one, let's go Spotify. So as I said, I listen to a bucket ton of music. There's my three episodes of ASOR. And then up the top, it says new ASOR. So I'm always listening and I'm always dropping stuff into that. And I'm not even opening that folder. That's, you're going you to have to watch out for that in the next few weeks. So let's scroll down through my playlist. Uh, as I said, once a, once a music-based instructor, you always are. It never leaves you. The example I'm going to use, and I'm going to give you two. First one's speed. So speed endurance. If you've done ASOR, you'll know that my speed tracks are generally uh, EDM, 130 to 140 beats a minute. Um, I tend to be erring on the lower side of that, just because that's where the music style's sort of going at the moment. It's moving more to that lower side. Artists that come to mind, Armin Van Buren, ATB, Chicane, Paul Van Dyke. If you're looking at the newer artists, I guess, things like Marlo, Scott Bond, you've got Ali and Fila, some Egyptian boys, uh, they're awesome, Cosmic Gate, you know, there's a whole array of electronic artists. So as I listen to these songs and I know them, I throw them into a playlist and Spotify has this magic little piece here, but da -da -da, there it is, it says recommended songs and it says based on the songs of this playlist. So this automatically generates a whole bunch of tracks that sort of, they have that familiarity, either genre, artist, beats per minute, and generally the, 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 the features that are used within the AI. Now, I don't know about the AI feature of Spotify if because it's on my list that it collects that information to then sort of say, oh, well, you know, this artist has been partnered with these other artists that we hadn't thought of. I'm not sure if that's how it works. If it does, that's um, clever because that's a community-based um, algorithm where it um, where it, it, it buddies off the information of the people that are within it. Maybe someone smarter than me can tell me that. But anyway, this gives you a very generic feel. Now, here's the thing. 
Anything that's easy is never good, all right? So if something comes easy to you, generally speaking, you can probably be assured that it won't be the most amazing outcome. But from a creative block point of view, this enables you to start to increase your knowledge base and start to increase your database of music. So this is my speed stuff. Now again, I put tracks and I delete them out of here. In theory, you should probably leave them in the playlist forever. So, you know, as I've used them over the years, I just get them out. But you know what, if I use them, they may as well stay in the list because it just adds to the information. So let's go to uh, power. Now power, it's a very distinct style. I'm looking for something that's heavy, hard, that gives me about, a, I'm gonna say 90 beats per minute, all right? So that power training. So generally that's gonna be heavy drum and bass, heavy, hard rock, um, I'm gonna say, you know, that sort of emo, screamo stuff, not that I've, oh, no, I'm never going to say never, but, you know, Amity Affliction, Disturbed, they're two artists that fit in that heavy realm. Um, uh, Ryan Brown remix, he's a drummer who's, who's done the Pendulum stuff um, that I remixed a few weeks back. Um yeah, what else? We've got Seven Lines, again, fits across sort of multi-genres. So, look, Again, different style, and you can see that there's a real diverse range of artists, everything from Seven Lines. I use them as a warm-up, very lovely, ambient, sort of breaks-ish type track, and then in here, it's completely different again. Um, into Slander, very hard, hard dance, and uh, and then from there. So again, if I go down into the recommended, it's then given me you know a bunch of tracks that I can have an opportunity to listen to, and if I like them, you know, you bang them into the playlist, and you know, again, you've, you've added to the musical vocabulary that you are trying to create. And again, creation is what is the backbone of longevity in this industry. If you just teach somebody else's stuff forever, look, you, you may or may not be satisfied. I'm not going to pass judgment on that. It might tick the boxes for you. But for me personally, um, the ability to be creative is uh, the thing that's kept me going for the last, you know, the last 20 years in this piece. So, you know, you can you can keep adding playlists and if you've got stuff, you go, oh, this is a really cool stretch song, you know, and as you can tell, I don't stretch enough. There's only a handful of songs. But again, it, it gives me suggestions of stuff that's that's relevant. And if I like them, I throw them in there and then all of a sudden I've, I've grown my catalogue. So this is a really easy way to use a modern piece of uh, software and modern app that's accessible. Um, I don't think you can make playlists with a free version, but it's 10 bucks, you know, it, it costs you bugger all. And you can use the smarts that are involved. And obviously, Spotify you spend a lot of money to make sure that you stay hooked to their product. So, you know, you may as well leverage off their desire to want you engaged to find a way for it to be engaging for you. All right, so I've shown you now um, a little bit of my Spotify, all right? So there's a couple of playlists in there. Um, it's a continual piece. So every week, obviously, Spotify give you a new list. So you can go through and go, hey, that's a cool song, and I'll put it somewhere, or yeah, it's no good, and I'll get rid of it. Um, however, uh, if you want to get away from the AI side, and again, look, the algorithms are good, but they're not perfect, okay? And this type of um, production, um, longevity in the fitness industry requires you to do some work, okay? If you expect all the work to be done for you by somebody else, two things are going to happen. You're either going to get bored really quickly um, or you're not going to have a job in the industry very long because, again, you're producing someone else's stuff. So, you know, the satisfaction level is really low when you're just regurgitating someone, else, someone else's product. Um, so, you know, the creative element is, is a really huge part to longevity. And again, speaking from experience, this is coming up to nearly 20 years of, of playing the game so, um, and being in the industry. So uh, having that creative input um, into my own pieces makes, uh, makes it worthwhile, okay? So as I said, Spotify hasn't been around forever. YouTube hasn't been around forever. Um, however, um, there's been some pieces that have allowed um, you to do some exploration around music artists. So the one that I don't think anybody's ever heard of, so you're probably gonna hear it from me first, um, and I really hope the app is still available because it's on my phone. So I'm going to share with you an app that's called Discover. 
and how it works. So I love it, it's a beautiful interface and it's a way of even being able to explode your mind further um, so that you can find related artists um, to the ones that you like or to the ones that you know. You know if you always um, search, uh, look, I'm gonna use one person, one group that I thoroughly enjoy, so Elenium. Um, it's a breaksy, um, a euphoric dance type beat. Um, again, very well produced. It's a lovely sound, but it just sounds same, same. And as a group fitness instructor or a presenter, if you're creating a product, you don't want everything to always sound the same. You know, if you're using the same artist every time, it's gonna get pretty boring after a really short period of time. So let's face it, you want to have some color, right? So you wanna have you know, a slightly different color of blue. Uh, you might want a purpley color, right? I'm just using an example for you there. So, you know, the, the shades of style that you want. So I'm gonna shut this screen down. I'm gonna share with you um, a little AI piece that I've used for years called Discover. All right, let's go have a look. All right, let's go to my secret squirrel app. Now, back in my days of lecturing, I shared this information to all of my students. And uh, look, I'm gonna open it for you today. This is a beautiful app. Now, Spotify was easy in the sense that it specifically gave you songs that were familiar to songs you had already liked. I premise this with, if it's easy, it's not always good, all right? So you're going to potentially have to do a little bit more work in order to get the best outcome. Let me slide across. It's called Discover, and I'm gonna throw the link in the comments below. So this is a beautiful, beautiful interface of an app. So I used Rufus Du Sol a couple of uh, weeks back with their track Underwater. Um, truth be told, I think that uh, that is an amazing song, but uh, Inner Bloom far exceeds it, I think is an amazing song. Anyway, that's an opinion piece. You can argue with me about that in the comments and I welcome the discussion. However, let's use them as the example. So I like Rufus De Sol. As soon as I indicate that that's the artist that I'm looking for, what it does is it brings up this beautiful screen. You can see it in front of you where it's given me six artists that are like Rufus, okay? Now, I may or may not have heard of these other ones, and this is why this app is amazing. It unlocks untold opportunity for you to explore, all right? So I like Rufus. They've got a catalogue of music that's pretty extensive, all right? But if I keep using Rufus, my participants are going to be like, oh, Rufus again, and I'm probably going to get bored really quick, all right? So let me go back and I go, you know what? I love their sound. It had a fit in a particular class. What else can I find that sort of sounds like them? And I've got six artists to choose from. So straight away, if I click on Setmo, it will bring up a little bio, who they are, you know, and then it gives me a, a, a track list and all their songs. And sadly, or I suppose luckily, the hardest work that you've got to do is really listen to these songs and then go, yeah, that's a cool song or no, that's not a cool song. And if you like it and it fits what you're trying to do, you put it into a playlist and all of a sudden you've opened up your music choices beyond what you already knew. And again, you can go down the rabbit hole as far as you like. So I've clicked on Setmo and it's opened up artists, artists that are connected. And you'll see that when it linked, when it expanded, it brought me two artists that aren't necessarily like Rufus. So it opened two that were um, Nixon and Running Touch. And then you can see that the little connection that you've got going here is that Setmo and Rufus sort of share this familiarity with this particular artist here, or Setmo and Nixon share this familiarity with Rufus, okay? But then you've got this artist that's sort of out on the side here, uh, Crooked Colours and Young Franco, that they don't necessarily have much in familiar um, or much in common with Rufus other than the link of, you know, they're kind of you know, they might sound like Setmo, they might have a particular genre style. So again, it gives you the ability to do some exploring and, and find some tracks that, you know, they might fit the bill. Now, granted, this is a little bit more work to be done. But again, the job is not necessarily to make the easiest work for you. The job is to make the best work for you. Folks, there you have it. Um, 
<laughs> Mental note for me when it comes to making these little instructionals, infotorials is um, get a phone stand so that you have the same camera angle each time. But hey, I hope that the camera angle being different hasn't, um, um, uh, hasn't affected your viewing pleasure. Folks, look, that's, that's, that's part of the process. Um, you know, group fitness, uh, freestyle group fitness, where you have to find your own um, music, create your own program, uh, find your own sound and style. Um, it requires work. It just, it really does. Um, we're in a time now where technology does so much work for us. YouTube, um, uh, Instagram, Facebook, it all, they all have these suggestions. Now, the AI is very good, but what you need to realize is that the AI feature on all of these things is community based, okay? So it requires Jono to be sharing information about what he's got on his playlist, kind of in a way. So, you know, if you want to break outside what is normal um, and have that, that penultimate creativity that is going to make you stand out and is going to give you um, a whole heap of flair and color and excitement. And it, as I said, if you've, if you've been tuned into the ASOR broadcast, you've seen some of the highlights, um, if you've known me over the last, you know, 10, 15, 20 years, the expression through music is 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 huge. It's a massive part of me. It's a huge part of my my day, my week, and it, it sort of makes up my DNA. So you know that little bit of work that's required to find artists that are, you know, that that, that sound like one, or they they sort of have this this fit and feel is 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 really going to, um, you know, it's going to give you the edge, folks. Um, hey, that's it. Um, I'm going to sign this one off with. Um, a thank you. Um, so much love from me to you guys for the support with ASOR. Um, I do hope that you enjoy these uh, little uh, tutorials, infomercials, whatever they are. Um, they're completely not sponsored. Um, again, I, 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 I long to see and uh, observe uh, fitness trainers, presenters step up to the next level. Which uh, you know, which requires sharing of knowledge from from those that have it. So, um, guys, from from me to you, if you like this video, make sure you hit uh, like and subscribe. I think the little notifications button will uh, allow you to get notified when more videos come up. So, you know, please head over to the website, mattyclark.com.au. That'll give you all the links uh, around the Twitch. Um, Again, if you'd like to support ASOR and help in the production of uh, with a little bit of support, um, I do have a Patreon. So full transparency is uh, all the music that is, is utilized is purchased. Um, so look, there's a cost involved. So if you like the product and you want to see more, um, throwing some support behind me with, uh, with the Patreon um, gets you some really cool stuff as well. So, you know, um, that'd be awesome. Guys, that's it from me. I'm going to say much love and uh, I can't wait to see you in the Redux episode on Friday night. All right, much love.